Okay, now that you've got your business set up, let's start using the actual dashboard. Typically when somebody starts here, they wonder where to start. And I would say start with a business plan. Before we go too far, let me point out that, you know, all these 13 tiles are the same on all these panels here across the middle. Uh, the good news is everything works the same and works alike. So here's the business plan, for example, it pops open. And you start this out here and it'll open up here where you fill in your company information. This automatically grabs out of your account. So it fills it in here, but you can also modify it. You can add a new founder by clicking this button. You can choose the category of business that you're working with here. And the different ones will have different subcategories and different templates to go with them. Let's say child daycare, for example, template. That's pretty straightforward. Anyway, so that's how that works. We suggest you fill in your primary industry and that will come in here. This is the way to think about this is like, you know, you're, you're writing your plan, you're writing a document. We use the word industry in many places, but the way in the context of using it, you're saying, you know, at the X, in the XYZ industry, we do this. So this is where you fill in XYZ. In my case, I would say in the business development software industry, we do this. That will automatically fill that in everywhere that's used. So other things, some dates here when things are started, save and next. And then just to point out the business plan, the employee manual, the marketing plan, the safety plan, the sales plan, all work the same way. They all have this menu tree. They all have check boxes in here where you can include sections or not. The business plan's got a lot of sections, but the idea is simply here. For example, you'll click on a section. It opens it up. There's going to be the template in the top. If there's nothing in the bottom, you'll click the click here to add this template to your business plan and it puts it down in the editor where you can edit it and do everything you want to do. And you can simply type all you want and that'll fill it in for you. Up here is an explanation. This is some extra instructions, some ideas up here. There's also instructions down here in, in the green text. You'll delete the green text here. The green text is more in context with, with the writing as you go along. We happen to have Grammarly in place. Doesn't seem to like a comma there. That works. I recommend getting Grammarly. It's free. It really works well. Uh, it helps you with your grammar, not only just the spell checking, but text and everything. Side notes here is where you can put a comment on the, each section has its own side note. You can say, hey, what about this? What about that? There is a video that goes with it, which is actually me talking, explaining to you. What is the idea here? What do you, what, like if an investor or lender is reading this business plan, and even if you're not looking for investors or lenders, you are the investor lender yourself. So but nevertheless, if you are writing this for somebody else to raise capital, for example, I'm explaining to you what is needed here. Kind of like a movie director telling the actors, okay, here's what's going on in the scene and what we're looking for. And then of course we have the financial model. Click on this. It's wizard driven. You can fill in the blanks there. Reports come out of it. And that's that on that. So uh, the next thing is just other aspects of what's in here that the other areas of documents. So we've got your priority list, your to-do list. You click the plus sign. Every dial has got a plus sign in it. You can add something to do. This says, you know, lets you put it in in any category in the, in the dashboard you want. So if you want to drop, you can start this from any of the panels and then put it in wherever section you want to have it and just put in the subject, the body and save it and the date it's due and you're good with your to-do list there. This tile here is from our blog. It's answers and questions and answers and ideas from 30 years really of, you know, seeing some similar things and just writing stuff in here and asking, you know, like for example, the whole idea of are you a missionary or mercenary? We explain what that means and how that's the, if you could combine the best of those attributes as a business person, investors love that. The financial model, here are two Excel based financial models. I don't put them up, but they look like they're in Excel. You'll like them, I assure you. It just takes a moment here to open them up because they're kind of large. Uh, worksheets, you can see they all have a preview icon, an editing icon, and a fill in the document variables icon. And so you've got an investor presentation down here, which is a sample PowerPoint that works. Let me show you, just take you how through these documents work, because the good news is, you know, well, A, we've got a lot of documents in this whole system that cover every area. But what's consistent about all of these documents is the way they work. So they all have these icons. For example, let's look at the Board of Advisors, it's my favorite document. So here we're going to preview it. The text in green 
is the expert comments, the supporting commentary, somebody sitting, us sitting next to you saying, hey, do this, don't do that, here's what we're thinking here, here's the idea, all that kind of stuff. They can be turned off, as you can see, and back on again with the green, with the comment button up here. If you want to print this, print these out with the comments on, leave the comments on, otherwise print it without the comments and you get what you see. Now what you're looking at here is the yellow, these are the variables, they'll fill in and I'll show you how that works in a, in a moment. But the idea here is you're going to edit this, this is looking at it, but now if I click this little icon over here, the editing icon, it opens up the editor and you can see what we can do in here. I recommend leaving, well let's leave the variables in place. You can also, you know, create your own documents by clicking the plus sign and adding in re these replacement fields so you can build your own templates using the system. But the idea really here is, for example, in this case, we're inviting someone to be an advisor with us. And so let's change a couple things here. I might say it's going to be, we're going to have weekly meetings and we're going to talk about planning, organizing, uh, let's say, and funding. Okay, so you get the idea here. We'll leave these alone. And this is simply editing and creating a template in this case, I'm going to invite a number of advisors to join us. So I'm going to use this as a template I can use over and over and over again for these different advisors. And what I do now is I simply save it. And I'm going to save it as a board of advisors copy. Uh, I'll, I'll call this the template. And I'll explain something else to you in a moment. So here we've saved this out as a template now. Now what happens is you can see there's a big T here for template. All of these with the M's in this master document section here are master copies. These are what the originals are that we make copies from and then you edit those and save those as your template. So here's your board of advisor template. So rather than opening up a master copy again and again and again, you can create a template, open this template up, and you can go in here and edit this template to everything you would do before. Uh, you could then, when it's, you know, as you can see it's saved out here, you could go to this template here and simply click on let's fill in the variables and so here's the yellow text the blanks that will fill in the yellow text so um, whatever your what date and then the date I'm gonna put in the uh, oh you know 1 10 2020 and the addressee's first name is gonna be Bob last name is Jones I'm making this up obviously and you're gonna be Ed Pfizer and you know, the address, he, maybe he's got a company, you know, Bob Jones, Inc. I won't fill the whole thing and you get the idea. But you can see down here, as I fill this in, this is automatically filling in the letter for him. And so let's say Bob's going to start on, where's the start date? Start date's down here is going to be January 20th, let's say. I'm making this up. 20, 2020. And it's coming from me I'm hiring or having Bob join us as an advisor, let's say. And I'm the CEO of the company. And you can see now down here, and well, I can let me turn off the comments if we like to do that. I can turn those off again. We'll leave those around here. Just keep the comments in place in case you want to use them. So now we've got Bob's start date here. We filled in Bob here. Bob is filled in up here and here. Uh, Bob is now filled in down here all this stuff is repeated the idea is to save you a lot of work and really do this for you and give you something that you can use and these aren't just a bunch of empty buckets but the idea is you've got something you can use over and over again now I'm gonna save this one let's say I'm done with it and I, I completed it and this is gonna be advisor and Bob Jones and so we're gonna save this now as a finished template a finished document and you'll see it out here under the finished documents. Here's advisor Bob Jones. Now I can, of course, go in and look at it. This is great for due diligence in the future. If someone wants to know, like, what was the deal you did with Bob? Here it is. You can find it. Now another icon opened up here, which is email, where I can go ahead and type in Bob's email address and send this email to Bob. So you've got all this capability here. And if you want to you know, delete this, you can. I recommend really that you... The idea of this dashboard is, is to use this as an ongoing organizational repository filing system of all your documents 
that for your business because remember you when you when you can act give somebody access to a document here or a read-only access or editing access to really any area of the entire dashboard that means you, if you had an investor who wanted to look at your business plan you could give them read-only access to the business plan in fact they could come into this whole business planning page and read the financial model look at your agreements with your advisors you could read the business plan and but then maybe they couldn't read anything else if someone was going to acquire your company in the future, you're going to want them to come in and look at and see that you have an employee handbook in place. They're going to want to, you're going to see that you've got who your contacts are. They're going to look at your financial agreements. We've got lots of agreements under here. You can see how these all work the same way. So the idea is to keep this simple. This other piece over here, news and blogs, this is a kind of a cool, uh, I don't think I have it under finance, but I do have them under business plan. So some samples we have set up for you. These are RSS feeds from blog sources that I think would be useful for you to have for your business. And you, of course, can go in and click the plus sign and add more to whatever you want to put in there. So that's really the idea here. Uh, there are video tutorials. These are the video tutorials for the business plan if you want to see them outside of the business plan. But everything is here. There's a handbook of business planning. For example, in many of the aspects of you can see a number of pieces here. There's one of these under uh, under under HR if you're doing the HR bit you can see the managers procedures managers procedures guide this is really good this is a customizable one here because the idea of this one is to be able to train people who are new managers people who really don't know how to manage haven't managed before and this is a great place to give them some background information on all of the uh, you know different aspects of it. and the safety plans got other things in here too so anyway that's it for now. That should give you a good head start on how to use the dashboard system. It makes a lot of sense, I think you'll find, and it's uh, very valuable and worth keeping everything inside the system.